Let's find the power series representation and interval of convergence for ln root 25 minus x squared. So remember that our, our basic, uh, basic one to know for this is that the ln of 1 minus x becomes negative sum 1 to infinity x to the n over n. That is our power series representation of ln of 1 minus x. So I want to make that look like this, ln of 1 minus something. And that something becomes x. So ln, and let's also remember that the interval of convergence is negative 1 less than x less than 1. ln of root 25 minus x squared is ln of 25 minus x squared to the 1 half, which is ln, well, let's bring that 1 half out, 1 half ln 25 minus x squared. So far, so good. We're making it look more and more like this, but we do need a 1. So we'll do something similar to one of the previous examples. We're going to factor that 25 out, even though it doesn't look like it's there. And that makes 1 minus x squared over 25. Now we need to use our log rule, ln of a times b is ln of a plus ln of b. And I can split this product into a sum. So this is 1 half ln of 25 plus 1 half ln of 1 minus x squared over 25. This is just a number, right? That's just a number. 1 half ln of 25 is just a number. This we will apply the process uh, for that we see in the first line, ln of 1 minus something. This is ln of 1 minus something. So we'll use the formula that we see here, replace x by x squared over 25. Right, so x becomes x squared over 25. So that's still all raised to the n, and then all divided by n. So what we've discovered so far is that we get 1 half ln 25 plus 1 half negative sum 1 to infinity x squared over 25 over n to the n up there. Now, what happens with the interval of convergence? We're replacing x by x squared over 25. Because this is an even power, we need to do something a little bit different. We really want to think about this as absolute value of x is less than 1. That's, that's really how it is. Because we're going to have to end up taking a square root, and we can't do that with the negative 1 yet. Um, so let's actually replace it from this point. So if x becomes x squared over 25, that's absolute value of x squared over 25 is less than 1. Now we just do a little algebra inside. That's 1 half ln of 25 plus 1 half. So now this negative becomes a negative 1 half. Sum 1 to infinity. x squared to the n is x to the 2n. Then I have a 25 to the n, which is in the denominator, and an n, which is in the denominator. So that will be an n times 25 to the n. With the interval of convergence, if I multiply by 25, I get absolute value of x squared is less than 25. Um, well now, at this point, we can take the square root of both sides and get absolute value of x is less than 5, which comes down to saying negative 5 is less than x is less than 5. So our, our interval of convergence 
uh, let's also be a little careful that um, uh, this is all correct uh, except for this less than or equal sign. That's going to match up exactly like we would want it to be because this was less than on the left. We'll also have a, uh, a left-hand endpoint but not a right-hand endpoint.